everyone, and welcome to another Techie Tuesday with... In today's episode, I am going to unbox and review this beautiful X-Zero helmet by Shoei. But before we do that, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a nice comment. Let's go! Back to the start. <laughs> I'm at Moto Charlie today, which has been my go-to moto spare parts and moto gears since I was 15. The company has expanded massively over the years, and that's because they've got competitive prices, but also great customer care. Those guys are really, really helpful, and they will try to give you the best advice all the time. You should check their website in the link below. But the reason why I'm here today is because I decided to buy a new lid for my watermelon. Um, as you can see, the choice is quite infinite when it comes to helmet, but when it comes to comfort and safety, Shoei is one of the absolute leader. So let's reveal what's inside the box. Lots of cargo that we don't need. We don't need the box itself now. And here it is, nicely wrapped in this bag. There you go. Right, I was in the market for some cool retro helmet and I narrowed down my choices between the Bell Moto 3 or the Shoei X0. Um, the Moto 3 uh, is a very good helmet and it's got some very, very cool graphics. But in the end, I went for the Shoei options. Um, this is their Equation TC10. Um, only because it feels lighter and more snug around my head. And having had Shoei before, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be satisfied uh, with this helmet. But let's go more into some technical details. The helmet has a multi-composite fiber shell and it borrows its design from the Shoei X series of the 80s. The shape is narrow so your head won't look like a balloon and the mesh filter on the chin guard oozes style and the mean look. It weighs just 1150 grams, which is pretty awesome for a full-face helmet. You can preset the visor to three different heights according to your own comfort. You can extract the inner padding for better cleaning. To secure the strap there is the double D-lock, which can be frustrating at first, but it is definitely the most secure lock you can have. Don't expect anything less from a brand such as Shoei. So let's see what it feels like. Ah, oh, nice and snag. Awesome. Let's go. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for has arrived. With the aid of the mighty Vespa, we will soon discover if this is just a pretty helmet or is it actually worth it? Is it comfortable? Is it fresh? Will our peculiar tenor be satisfied or will he regret every second of it? Brace yourself as the field test is about to begin. My first impression is that with this helmet you have a very clear field of view. So you won't miss any details, whether you're in traffic or on the open road. And since there's no visor, aeration is not gonna be an issue. However, some wind noise will start to appear at around 60 kilometers per hour. The clever little visor will protect you from bugs or dust and it will leave plenty of room for your glasses underneath it. You can go further in your vintage look by adding goggles and a pig. Check me out! Well, what more can I say? I really look forward to more summer rides in the sun. I hope you found my review useful. Please hit me with some comments if you'd like. 
Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. And from Tenor Rider, this is it. Chef and I!